Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go through custom fields and adding them to purchases and bills. But I'm actually gonna start at the sales order phase because, or stage, because I wanna make sure that you understand that it can carry forward from a sales order to a purchase order and what that looks like. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna open up the sales order that we had created in our last video about custom fields on sales orders. And I have this filled in for me already. I do have a custom field set up for region, right? And that's at the header level up top here. So the region default is east. I also have a custom field set up for blue at the item level, okay? Now the first thing that you wanna do before you you know, decide to move from sales order PO is you have to again, make sure that those fields are enabled at the purchase order level. So you come into PO, click formatting, customized data layout, and of course we have region checked off down here uh, for the headers, and then we have columns checked off down here, or we have color checked off down here under columns. Okay, so those fields are enabled. Now again, when we're dealing with region, right, we're dealing with region tied to a vendor at this point, not tied to a customer. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead. I'm going to say I have my sales order here and I'm going to create a purchase order for all allowed items and it carries forward all the information for me right so I have my plans I have my customer I have my color in here and I have my region that did come across from the sales order now as soon as I choose a vendor okay notice that region goes away because at AAA tech consultants level I don't have so if I go edit AAA tech consultants I don't have a region default set up for them in here. So as soon as I choose a vendor, right, it's going to, for me, uh, populate the region based at the vendor level, which is kind of what we're trying to get at anyway with this transaction. Okay, so if it was something that I needed to carry forward from the customer to the vendor, I would probably want to do it at the line level because notice the line stays consistent. All right, so let me go ahead in here and I'm gonna choose a region, north. Now, as soon as I save this transaction, something that QuickBooks does, which is awesome. So again, if this is something new, right, region is something new, we're just gonna add and we're gonna fix it as we go. So as soon as I save this transaction, it says, would you like region to show up as north, right, next time? So I'm gonna say yes. And again, what's great about that, I say yes. Now when I edit my vendor, that region default will show up in here, which is great, okay? All right, so at the PO level, let's talk about reporting at the PO level, okay? So when I come in here, if I were to want to run a report for open purchase orders, okay, and I want to customize, I can add a column here for region, okay? I'm also going to add the column for color so you can see that it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so notice region shows up. Oh, I didn't put a price on this PO. Let me put a price on here. Okay, so notice that region shows up, but not the color. That's because at this level, this PO, right, open purchase order report, is showing me at the summary level, right, at the header level. It's not going to show me it's not showing me each line item, so let me go ahead and add an additional line item here. Ugh, this pop-ups. Okay. So it's not showing me at each line item. It's showing me at the header level only, right? So it says there's $550 at, you know, in region north. So if I customize this report and I say I want to show detail level all, right it still isn't showing me those details here now if I went in and I ran a report custom transaction detail report I'm gonna say for all time let's just say and I want to do it for transaction type purchase orders okay now one of those little secrets right when it comes to purchase orders or any kind of transaction detail you also have to choose the posting status because the posting status 
always defaults to posting and a purchase order is a non-posting transaction, right? So I want to say posting status either or you can say non-posting even because if I didn't, it wouldn't show up. Nothing would show up on this report, right? Because it's a post, it's not a posted transaction. So I'm going to add that in here. Now if I come in here and let's say filter first by region <clears throat> and say north, okay? So it's going to give me the details for that report, right? Or for that PO that I just created. So I have here the 550 and the two 500s. So I can get those details in here as well. Now I can customize this and add the region. Okay. And then I can uh, customize this again and I can add the color. Now notice the color only shows up on the one line, right? So if I look at that purchase order, let me close out of this report. <clears throat> I only have blue at this one line. So if I were to take this custom transaction detail report and need to filter it for just color of blue, right? Only one line's gonna show up, not the entire PO, okay? All right. <clears throat> so again, this is how you can use, right, how you can use these custom fields on actual transactions. Now going forward from the PO to a bill. So this started a couple uh, years ago in QuickBooks. So you can come into your bills and you can right click and customize your columns and you can add your custom fields. So you can see I added color here. Now notice I can't add region here. Region's not going to show up, okay? You can, if you're going to add it at the expenses level and at the items level, you have to add it separately. So I'd have to customize columns and add it here as well, okay? So at the bill level here, I'm going to go in and say I have a bill from a tech consultants and I'm going to choose my latest PO there that I created. Okay. Now notice on this one, the $500, the $50 carried forward, but the custom field did not carry forward onto this transaction. Okay. So something to be aware of if you're trying to, you know, have it carry forward from sales order to purchase order, etc. That field is not going to carry forward. You have to manually fill it in. All right. Something else to be aware of is that you can add that custom field, you can add it at the enter credit card transaction and at the write checks transaction. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and type, put blue in here and say save so we can see the results on the purchasing side. So if I come in here and I run a AP aging summary report and I want to filter this report by region for north nothing shows up, right? Because at the bill level, there's not a region field tied to this bill anywhere, right? We don't have that field available here, okay? At the AP aging summary, if I filter this report, so let me remove this one and add in a filter for color, nothing shows up again. Why is that? Because this is the AP aging summary, right? It's looking at the total for the header. So it sees that $550 total that's due, but it doesn't see the detailed line items on this report because we're looking at summary. Okay. So if I wanted to see the details for anything that I have open for blue, I can come in here and say, I want a custom transaction detail report. And I'm going to say it's for all time. I'm going to add in my column for color. I'm also going to add in my column for region just so that we can be aware. Okay. And then I'm going to filter it for transaction type of bills. And then I'm also going to filter it for um, paid status of open. So I'm not looking at all bills right now. Okay. So if I look at this report, get rid of some of these extra fields here. <clears throat> so you can see here, region doesn't show up anywhere. 
So there's no filtering by region at this point. Okay. But that custom field for color is showing up here, right? So I can come in, I can see all my custom fields. So here's my plants and concrete. I had some up there, my $500 for plans here. That's the one we created. And then there's that extra $50, which didn't have blue on it. And then down below here, I have another blue here. Okay, so if I have this custom transaction detail report and I'm filtering by color, I can see in here. So what is my total open AP that's tied to blue? There we go. Okay. All right. Now, again, I don't want it to get discouraging because what I'm showing you here in this video is, of course, what QuickBooks is capable of doing built in naturally, right? But the thing is, is if the details are in the system, we can figure out ways to report on it. So whether it's using advanced reporting, okay, or if it's building a custom report, which is something we're more of, than capable of doing, we can get there. You have to make sure that the details are in the system first. So I thought I'd run through real quick an example of when my customers actually use the custom field at the bill level and when it when it's helpful for them. So so you can because color eh, that doesn't really equate very well, right? So I have a customer and in their business they manage accounts for major corporations, right? So a major corporation has let's say uh, mobile accounts. They have Verizon, they have T-Mobile, they have um, you know Apple or, t or let's say Apple phones that they buy, they have iPads that they buy, so they manage a whole bunch of accounts when it comes to mobility. All right, um, and so each of those different accounts, let's pretend it's for Intuit, it's not, but let's pretend it's for Intuit. So Intuit has 10,000 employees and each of the employees have their own cell phones and they have their own devices, etc. Okay, so each of those accounts we have to pay for every month and we have to pay, you know, Verizon, T-Mobile, et cetera. And each of those accounts are set up a little differently. Some of the accounts have, um, you know, we, we require payment by ACH. Some of the accounts we have to uh, have set up on auto pay. Some of them we pay by credit card, but we have to go in and pay them every month because they require it, right? So there's all these different scenarios that comes up. So in that case, what we put into QuickBooks is we put in a custom field for payment type, okay? So at the item level, we have, you know, the account we're paying, et cetera, but we have payment type set up here. So I can run a report for my payable clerk and I can say, here are all the payments that we need to pay this week because I filter it by due by date, right? And I filter it by uh, my custom field for payment type. So I say, here are the ACH payments that we need to pay this week, go pay them, okay? And then the AP clerk comes back because it's not like we can just cut a check through the system, right? It's not automated in that way because we're dealing with these major companies, right? And we have to deal with how they want us to pay them, okay? So I can run a report in here and say, here's everybody who needs to be paid by ACH. The AP clerk goes out logs into each of the accounts, makes the payment via ACH, comes back, says these are all paid. I do a download from my bank feeds. I see that they're all paid via ACH. I move on to my next report, right? So then the next report is these all need to be paid by Visa. I give a report, goes and logs into the system, comes back, tells me that these were all paid by Visa. I download my bank feeds for my, uh, <clears throat> my Visa account and I see the transactions all come across as paid done, moving on to the next one. So that's one way that we do use this field is the payment types that are required. Okay, okay so that's custom fields on purchasing transactions.